what's up you guys it's tammy x of the rebellion welcome back to my channel <laughs> so we're just gonna dive right in i am using a 613 unit by love and hair company and i will link their website below this wig comes with three clips an adjustable elastic band but i really don't I don't prefer these kinds of elastic bands as you guys can see just because they just clip together but I am using Redkins products today I use a lot of colors on this wig the main colors I'm gonna be using to tone the hair are gonna be Redkin in 9V, 9P, and 10VV and I'm just using those colors because those are going to cancel out the brassy tones. And I'm also going to be mixing one ounce of 10VV, a quarter ounce of 9V, and a quarter ounce of 9P. And you're going to mix that with Red Can Shades EQ Gloss to Gel to thicken the consistency. And you want to follow manufacturer's guidelines when mixing. So if it's a one-to-one -one ratio, do one-to-one, one-to-two, one-to-two. And that's just meaning like one ounce, two ounces of developer. This is demi-permanent. So um, I typically will do one to two ounces. But um, I had to equal out for the amount of. The amount what am I trying to say the amount of color that I'm using because I'm using um, two ounces of color in this formula so anyways I just went ahead and started applying the color on there I'm not gonna talk the whole video I'm gonna let you guys enjoy it but I do want to say I did get these new ignore my hair ignore my hair i did get these new brushes these color track brushes and i was so excited to use them on this wig but So now I'm going to be going in with all my fun colors. We're going to be using Jade by Adore, Periwinkle by Adore, Yellow by Kiss Express, Neon Pinch by Kiss, Atomic Pink by Kiss, and Ruby Red by Adore, Cosmic Yellow by Adore, Soft Lavender by Adore, and kiss platinum and kiss i can't see what that oh mystic silver <laughs> look i can't see what this is and as always i'm going to be thickening my product using my micro crystalline cellulose and for the mint colors i use two different ones um i like both of them but you can mix sky blue and cosmic yellow together to get the color on the left and on the, the color on the right is sea glass by um God, what are they called? Pulp Riot. So now I'm just showing you guys my sectioning. I did leave two sections off at the top because I wanted to apply the Kiss Silver and Mystic, Platinum and Mystic Silver. And then the inspiration for this color was this photo and also Chromatica. Um lady gaga's new sixth album like if you guys don't know i'm obsessed with lady gaga like i have been a fan of her since 2008 since she first came out and i just had to make a wig that was dedicated and really just spoke to me about this album so I hope you guys love it comment below and let me know what you think and this technique that i'm going to be using for it it's basically a um i was gonna say vertical 
but no it's basically just like a horizontal um sectioning and horizontal color application technique so i'm just going to be taking a bunch of colors and just interchanging them and um i use these mesh color sheets they work very well when you're doing things like this anything that's multicolored, especially holographic coloring um, anything like that just because it keeps your color organized and it helps with keeping the color from smearing together and bleeding too so definitely get you guys some of these if you're going to be doing multicolors like this to keep your colors nice and neat and i'm so sorry you guys about my camera angling i'm getting better at this but again i'm not going to talk the whole video so you guys can enjoy it but if you have any questions for me please let me know and enjoy the video right here i was really mad because i had got like red color on one of the sections so i did leave like some blonde hair out because of the effect that i was going for you can do the whole back area this technique if you want to but the look i was going for i wanted to leave a few blonde sections out but I feel like it ended up blending really well, so I really wasn't that mad about it. And I wasn't going to go in and remove it because I put conditioner on it and most of it really just slipped off. I also wanted to add to just have fun, you guys, because this is a technique that you can really like go all out on your creativity with and just do you, you know. This idea was completely like, just I guess there's a concept to it but I came up with the technique kind of like out of my head I didn't know like really the outcome so don't be too mad you know um, I was making this wig for someone so I did want to make sure that it wasn't looking all crazy but you know just have fun you know if this is your first time coloring wigs because that's what this is all about just having fun and using your creativity So you guys didn't get to see because I did cut this out, but I just went ahead and colored one of those sections at the top with the Mystic Silver and the Platinum by, <laughs> my mind always goes blank, <laughs> by Kiss Colors. So I did that separately.
we're gonna go ahead and move along and grab our Revlon in black and for this part I wanted the root color actually I changed this at the last minute for some reason I thought it would look better but it still ended up turning out looking like you'll see at the end you'll see it still turned out up looking like it was just all black an all black section but I ended up putting more silver on the roots and I wanted more of like a dip dye effect up here but it didn't turn out that way but that's okay because that's how I was originally gonna do it with just solid black like a money piece section in the front so excuse me you guys I'm recording this like at midnight but yeah it it still turned it out turned it out <laughs> I turned it out it still turned out very pretty so This is how it looks after I'm done applying all of the color. Excuse my background. Those are my husband's weights. <laughs> then I just went ahead and washed it out. And I am loving the no color on the laces. Yes. What color on the lace? Period. Okay. I can't do the rolly thing with my tongue so and this is the result i am in love with it it completely embodies everything that i envision and i hope you guys love this video i am gonna insert a few more pictures that i took of it please 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 do not forget to like share comment and all that good YouTube stuff. Subscribe, of course, and turn on your notification bell. We need to get to 1K. 1K, people.